today let us discuss about non polar covalent bond covalent bonds are said to be non polar when shared pair of electrons are equally distributed between the two atoms in this kind of bonds no charge separation takes place molecule is symmetrical and electrically neutral let us take all the points one by one the main point you have to focus in non polar covalent bond is this word electrons are equally distributed between the two atoms look at uh, this example you will find uh, a chlorine molecule in which two chlorine atoms are combined and carefully see that uh, sharing area sharing area you will find two electrons and those two electrons are shared by both the atoms each atom contributed one one electron for the bond formation and if you observe carefully uh, this structure you will find uh, electrons are equally distributed and you will find a symmetrical structure since there is equal distribution no charge separation takes place there won't be any charge separation so once again remember these two two three words carefully in non polar covalent compounds electrons are equally distributed no charge separation and it is symmetrical let's take a few examples of a non polar covalent bond on your screen you will find the four structures and children all these structures you need to draw in your copy i'll be sending a note of all these uh, topics uh, through school mitra and four uh, examples are here the first one is hydrogen molecule just see the hydrogen molecule you will find one pair of electrons on the center each hydrogen atom contributing one one and the structure is perfectly symmetrical electrons are equally distributed come to nitrogen molecule here also you will find uh, uh, three pairs of electrons are shared three pairs of electrons are shared that means all together six and this structure is perfectly symmetrical and uh, here is chlorine molecule chlorine molecule also you will find the symmetry you will find two electrons this side this side also right top uh, two bottom two in every way you will find a symmetry in this electrons are equally distributed the same case is with the methane also you will find equal distribution of electrons and uh, there is a point i mentioned here if the electronegativity difference between the two atom is same or slightly different then the bond formed will be non polar electronegativity electronegativity means the tendency of an atom to attract electron towards itself there should be very if there is slight difference in the electronegativity or if absolute there is no difference in uh, electronegativity then there is a possibility of the formation of a non polar covalent bond so four structures once again hydrogen chlorine nitrogen methane these are uh, best examples of uh, non polar covalent compounds let me move on to the next one polar covalent bond this is also a polar covalent bond covalent bond you know that uh, electrons need to share for the bond formation so sharing is compulsory shared pairs of electrons are there in the polar also and uh, the biggest difference is electrons are unequally distributed electrons are uh, unequally distributed since electrons are unequally distributed there is a possibility of a uh, charge separation if charge separates look at this uh, diagram water molecule is here you will find a positive sign towards uh, hydrogen and negative sign towards uh, oxygen 
in this structure electrons are not equally distributed then this molecule is considered as electrically charged also positive charge and negative charge exist that is why we call it a dipole two poles are existing once again look at the main point this is the main point electrons are unequally distributed in um, non-polar electrons are equally distributed and in polar electrons are unequally distributed that is the main point you have to remember here are a few examples of uh, polar covalent compounds things will be clear for you in this if you look at uh, this molecule HCl towards chlorine side you will find uh, more number of electrons and look at the hydrogen side there are less number of electron towards hydrogen electron cloud is towards uh, chlorine side so chlorine becomes a, a slightly negative and hydrogen side becomes slightly positive this is what is happening that is we call it a dipolar molecule and uh, here is two more examples water and ammonia in water also if you carefully go through towards oxygen side you will find a good number of electrons so electron cloud electron density is towards oxygen so oxygen becomes slightly negative and hydrogen becomes slightly positive the charge separation takes place because electrons are not equally distributed you will not find a symmetry in distribution of electrons the same case is applicable with the uh, ammonia also towards nitrogen you will find a lot of electrons so nitrogen becomes slightly negative and uh, the hydrogen atoms become slightly positive this is what is happening uh, during a polar covalent bond formation is one more point I have written if the electronegativity difference between the two atom is more than polar bond can be obtained previous case in non-polar case there is hardly any difference in electronegativity whereas in the case of uh, polar electronegativity is more that is another major point you have to remember in your mind I think children it is clear for you. Thank you children.